What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to be talking about challenge mode and what this is. Now info at this moment in time is at a minimum and what we have to go by isn't much more than a few comments from them bungee dudes as well as a few details coming from That Edge magazine. Now this all started a while back before the Taken King was even released. Luke Smith made an interesting comment which had many people including myself speculating as to what it is. Most as well as me thought it was going to be a third mode and I think we were actually right. Let's recap on what Luke Smith actually said them two months ago. Quoting Luke Smith here, we developed hard mode first this time and scaled it down to normal mode and we have one more thing we're not talking about yet that's pretty sweet it's a twist I'm excited about it's clear now that Luke Smith two months back was indeed talking about this new challenge mode now in the recent UK Edge magazine Luke when asked what else is left for us players to discover Luke Smith answers with this we have a little more left in store for players. In hard mode, all of the boss fights have a new mechanic, a new element. There's also challenge mode, a particular way of killing a raid boss that gets you a special emblem and a reward. Mathematically, you've only seen or completed 5 thirteenths of the raid. Now Bungie tweeted this in response to a tweet made by More Console. Challenges are coming to Kings 4 soon both normal and hard. For now, we're working on how they reward you. In reply to that tweet, Luke Smith tweeted this, Raid challenges are not currently active. The final three fragments are among their rewards. More info in several weeks. So challenge mode, that in itself tells you that this will be a third mode for the King's Fall Raid. Normal, hard and challenge. Challenge mode, I'm guessing, will be the options of the three main bosses. Warpriest, Golgoroth and Oryx. Obviously selectable on either hard or normal. These, as Luke Smith said, will offer special rewards such as emblems and fragments. Obviously one fragment obtainable from each of the bosses, giving us the three remaining fragments we can't currently get. I believe some if not all of these emblems that are rewarded from this challenge mode may be visible via the emblem vault. But Bungie did state they are working on rewards for this challenge mode so obviously more rewards will be implemented into the reward system of this new challenge mode. What interests me is the final three remaining fragments and here is why. I could be a million miles off but this is just my opinion and what I think. Now we all know that before the Taken King was dropped Bungie, Luke Smith and many other great sources talked about 50 hidden parts on that dreadnought that uncovered a weapon. It definitely 100% was 50, I've heard it from Luke Smith's mouth myself. Now many people forgot about this and associated it with the 45 fragments needed as part of the Touch of Malice quest. I never and I still think there is still a hidden weapon left for us to discover. I mean think of it this way, if you compare DLCs or previous raids they all had that raid weapon, the Vex from the Vault of Glass, the Necrochasm from the Crow's End Raid, the Dreg's Promise, the Queen Breaker's Bow and the Lord of Wolves from the Prison of Elders. I know a lot of people will be saying the Touch of Malice from the King's Fall Raid but I think differently and there is no denying that the Taken King offers way more content wise with the raid. I find it crazy to think that there isn't any other weapon for us to discover with all the new content that keeps coming and what we currently have. The challenge mode offers the final three fragments to complete the 50. I believe these will trigger a new quest for a weapon unknown to us yet. But that's just my opinion. Either way, it will be several more weeks before we find out any more info about this challenge mode and when it's dropped. But if anything else comes beforehand, you guys will be certain to find it here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this and your opinion on what challenge mode will be down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. I'll catch you on the next one and peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide, DPJ.
Jay, go and subscribe.